Today, we're in the early stages of what Andrew McAfee and I call the second machine age. The first machine age allowed machines to take over a lot of the work of human muscles. Now, in the second machine age, machines are beginning to automate and augment the human mind. We believe that this technological progress, this surge that we're seeing, is going to change the economy, is going to change the business world, is actually going to change our societies uh, starting now and then probably increasing in the future. One of the missions of the Initiative on the Digital Economy is to help us understand how we can use these amazing technologies to shape our own destiny, to shape our future. The Initiative on the Digital Economy has five core activities. MIT is a massive research institution, so we put a high priority on doing the, the best cutting-edge research that we can. We are very focused on solution-driven research, and we're also very focused on creating deliverables or outcomes that are not just knowledge and insight, but actionable strategies. We convene the very best minds in the field. We've got the very best economists, the very best social scientists, the best computer scientists, people from industry, policy makers, and a brilliant set of students that are working with us to address the big challenges of the next decade. We run an analytics action lab learning class um, where we have teams of students at the Sloan School of Management tackling a big data analytics project. We run executive education programs. They're all online and digitally delivered. Our fourth core activity at IDE is digital fellowships. So these are people who come and spend time with us, whether that be a month or six months or a year. They come from industry, they come from press, uh, they come from other academic institutions. The Inclusive Innovation Challenge is essentially the solutions arm of the Initiative on the Digital Economy. We give away over a million dollars in prizes to organizations that are using technology to really address a grand challenge of our time. What we need to be doing is giving people who are displaced by the forces of globalization and automation the best possible chance to re-enter the workforce at at least as good a level economically as where they left it. If we do the right things, this could be the best thing that ever happened to humanity. We're going to have more wealth, better health, and widely shared prosperity. The question isn't what the technology is going to do, it's what we do with technology.